Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here's Abdul and today we have a comparison video uh, but this time I'm not going to compare each watch to the other one. I'm actually going to recommend all of them um, as a starter watch. So basically this video is for uh, people that starting the hobby or for people who want to get a present for someone who starting the hobby maybe you're giving it to to the to this friend that always wears an apple watch and you want to get them into automatic watches or son daughter cousin niece nephew whatever it is a uh, person you're giving gift to or even you yourself um you've been wearing quartz watches and now you want to upgrade uh, to an automatic watch maybe you've been wearing a, a a smart watch and now you're thinking about getting some kind of automatic watch but you don't want to pay a lot of money so these three watches are actually all on under 150 dollars or 150 euros as well they are um, available in Amazon so basically buy them everywhere um, so let's uh, let's start from the right hand side because I think the right hand side is a good place to start and as well the cheapest watch actually here on this uh, on this table so we have here the Invicta Pro, Drive, Pro Diver 1994-0B which has a blue dial 40 millimeters lug width and I think it was around 50 let's say lug to lug yeah 48 lug to lug the thickness is the only issue here which I see is it's like around 14 uh, millimeters thickness a big big thick watch but as you can see you have a display case back which I think is pretty important for starter watches because you want to see uh, the magic happening in the mechanical movement even though this is an NH35 so a lot of uh, 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 watch people or modding people would be like yeah we know this movement by heart uh, but at the same time it's a workhorse movement it's the Seiko movement it's uh, tried and tested uh, this design is an homage of uh, the Submariner, maybe also a little bit of uh, the vintage deep sea because of the thickness and uh, the, the, yeah, it was 40 millimeters. And um, the NS35 runs on 21600 vibration per hour, has a 41 uh, hours of power reserve and has a 24 joule movement. And as you can see, this Invicta, of course, a lot of controversy but to be honest how uh, where can you get a automatic watch with 200 meters water resistant with the date function for 115 euros that's that's a pretty good deal to be honest um especially if you're buying it new if you're buying it used you can get even a better deal on it um like I said, I've been only having it a couple of days now. I put them all on the time grapher. And as you can see, they are all keeping around the same time. I will put them again on the time grapher to, to check. But a bezel action here is a bit hard. So if you want to use the bezel, maybe it's maybe after a couple of turns, it would be easier. But it's really hard. To turn around but like I said for a starter watch I don't see what is the issue of course this is like on the edge of homage and fake uh, I'd say homage and fake because in the past five years now we have so many homages from 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 watches that this discussion about ah this this looks like a fake but it has actually the Invicta logo, it has the Invicta logo here, it has a display case back, it's thicker, it's different colors. So I'm, I'm just, uh, um, I'm not condoning or I'm not supporting anything, I'm just giving my opinion. So if you have any other opinions, please leave in the comment section and also tell me why you like or why you hate this watch in the comment section as well. So let's go to the next watch. The second most expen uh, second cheapest watch on the list is actually the Seiko 5. So we have a Seiko 5 with a 37 millimeters. So for smaller wrists, 
maybe uh, 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 girls, ladies, or uh, young men who still um, have small wrists, or even grown men who have smaller wrists. Of course, this is just a, a better suited watch for for smaller wrists. Like I have a 17. I'm wearing my 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 Nomos. I have a 17 centimeter wrist, and as you can see, I really like it on my wrist as well. It it looks quite good. It fits. And I can show you also the Invicta on my wrist. Also, it fits a bit big, but it fits. Like, I would prefer smaller watches like this one than bigger ones um, every day. Uh, so we have a non-screw-down crown, right? Yeah, non-screw-down crown. Only 50 meters of water resistance and compare it to 200 with a screw-down crown. But here you have a day-date function. You have a, a, a fixed bezel with a 60-minute counter. Um, loom, you have both. They have loom. It's, here you have loom on the loom pips and indices and hands. Here you have also on the loom pips, indices, um, and, um, sorry, on the hands and at the pips of the loom, of the indices. You have also a, a display case back. So as you can see, you can see the in-house, the in-house Seiko movement, which is a 7S26 with 21 joules, 40 hours of power reserve. And like I said, you have 37 millimeters in diameter, 30, 40 lug to lug, and 11, or actually 11.75 thickness. But what I really, really uh, don't like about this watch, the only thing that made me actually return this watch or will return this watch is the bracelet. So I don't know if you can see that, but this link is actually a fake link. It's a part of the case itself. So it's a part of the case and they put even here drilled drilled holes to change the, the, the strap, but how can I put a 12 millimeter strap on that watch and it will look normal? And it's definitely hard to get a 12 millimeters that tapers up to 21 and then tapers down to 16 or something like that, which should be looking very weird. So that's why I'm, and I, I tried, like, if you can check the video for the unboxing for this watch, I, I put like two minutes at the end. What I was trying to, to quickly get the a, a bracelet off, and I actually didn't succeed. I, I needed uh, more time. So I thought, okay, now this is, this is for me a definitely a, a a part that I didn't like about the watch, but other than that, really nice watch, really, really nice watch for the money. And last but not least, the Orient um, dress watch with a day and night indication, date and day of the week function. So you have a um, quarter hour Roman numerals, both you have your indices, no loom at all. You have a perfect, perfect size. I, I, I have to say, like I love this size, the the thirty nine point five, in lug to lug forty four, with a thickness of twelve. And on my seventeen centimeter wrist, as you can see, it looks quite nice. Looks quite good. And on this parallel strap, it comes of course with a metal bracelet. All of these. These two watches comes with metal bracelet, but uh, if you guys uh, follow my channel, uh, you know that I don't like metal bracelets, and as such, if I tried a metal bracelet that I didn't like, like this one for instance, uh, it would affect negatively my review of the watch, and that's why I put them on, 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 on NATOs, so I can directly wear them and enjoy them and give a better opinion, or at least a more neutral opinion about the watch and not the bracelet, because tastes differ. Some people like uh, rattly bracelet or, or, or uh, like tin bracelets or whatever, or folded bracelet like this one. Um, I, on the other hand, uh, uh, don't enjoy wearing these uh, bracelets at all. I'd rather wear it with a NATO or the pearl on like this one and uh, have more fun with it. So basically this watch, like I said, has a caliber F6B22, which is 22 joules, 21600 vibrations per hour, 40 hours of power reserve. So, I hope uh, you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the like button. Anyways, uh, just to sum up the video, 
and uh, to give you a my opinion on which what to get in which situation i think if you have an active lifestyle and you have a wrist that's bigger than 17 centimeters so around 6.5 6.69 inches and up definitely the invicta would be my choice for you or my recommendation for you if you are looking to buy a watch for uh, maybe someone young um, girl boy whatever uh, or someone uh, maybe a lady um, that has a smaller wrist um, I would definitely uh, advise for the Seiko 5 it's a great starter watch it's a nice watch to get there in the hobby it has the see-through case back so definitely my choice would be this one so if for smaller wrists this one for larger wrists this one and if you're getting someone that already has a watch uh let's say it has a uh, an apple watch or a g-shock and they they wear it even to work orient might be the perfect uh, um, perfect gift for them to be able to wear it at work because it looks quite fantastic in the morning uh, it doesn't have any loom so at night it's pretty useless but uh, as an office watch right really nice you have the day you have the date and you have the day night indicator so you have all the uh, complications that you might need in an office context anyways thank you so much everybody for watching again the, if this is an invitation to like subscribe and hit the bell button and hopefully see you in the next one bye bye everyone